Good morning everyone and welcome to our virtual chapel service. We will begin with the hymn, Come Alive, Come Alive. Grace and peace to you from God. God fill you with truth and joy. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Almighty God, to all who hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, so that we may truly love you and worthily praise your holy name. Through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of Christ rule in our hearts. The word of Christ dwell in us richly. Please be seated. A reading from John, chapter 17, verses 1 to 11. After Jesus had finished speaking to his disciples, he looked up toward heaven and prayed. Father, the time has come for you to bring glory to your Son, in order that he may bring glory to you. And you gave him power over all people, so that he would give eternal life to everyone you give him. Eternal life is to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ, the, the one you sent. I have brought glory to you here on earth by doing everything you gave me to do. Now, Father, give me back the glory that I had with you before the world was created. You have given me some followers from this world, and I have shown them what you are like. They were yours, but you gave them to me, and they have obeyed you. They know that you gave me everything I have. I told my followers what you told me, and they accepted it. They know that I came from you, and they believe that you are the one who sent me. I am praying for them, but not for those who belong to this world. My followers belong to you, and I am praying for them. All that I have is yours, and all that you have is mine and they will bring glory to me. Holy Father, I am no longer in the world. I am coming to you, but my followers are still in the world. So keep them safe by the power of the name that you have given me. Then they will be one with each other, just as you and I are one. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the Sunday between two big events in the lives of the disciples. On Thursday, it was a day known as Ascension Day. That is, when after 40 days staying with the disciples after he'd risen from the dead, Jesus ascended into heaven to be with his Father. Notice, he didn't die again, he ascended. That is, he rose up to heaven. In another week, it will be Pentecost, when we celebrate God sending the Holy Spirit, as Jesus promised in our reading today. That was an amazing time for the disciples, because they felt on fire and were able to speak in different languages and share God's good news with everybody. Not only did Jesus say he was going to send the Holy Spirit, he also told the disciples that while they were in the world, as we are, they did not belong to the world, to all the fuss and the bother and stress of living in our world. 
Not that we've had too much stress of living recently, except for remote learning, I suppose. So have a look at this bottle. There are two things in it. Can you guess what they are? There's coloured water and oil. When we look at this bottle with oil and water, the first thing we notice is that they remain separate from each other. Now, watch what happens when I shake the bottle. The water and the oil appear to become one. So they haven't really become one. So if we let it stand for a little while, the water and the oil become separate again. That shows us that even when they were all mixed together, they were never really one. This bottle is a pretty good picture of what Jesus wants us to be like in the world that we live in. He prayed that while the disciples lived in the world, they wouldn't become part of the world. He wanted them to add the gifts he had given them to the world, just as the water added some colour to the oil, but he didn't want them to become stained by the world. This prayer is for us too. Jesus said that just as his Father sent him into the world, he has sent us into the world. We must live in this world, but Jesus has called us to be separate. Just as this coloured water remains separate from the oil, Jesus wants us to be separate from the world, from its stresses and its temptations. Like the disciples, he wants us to remain the people God made us to be. He wants us to know his love and to share that love with others. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated for prayer. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear when we pray in the name of your Son. Therefore, in confidence and trust, we pray for the church. Father, enliven the church for its mission, that we may be salt of the earth and light to the world. We pray for the world. Awaken us a sense of wonder for the earth 
and all that is in it. Teach us to care creatively for its resources. We pray for the community. Give grace to all whose lives are linked with ours. May we serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. We pray for those in need. God of hope, comfort and restore all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. May they know the power of your healing love. We remember with thanksgiving those who have died in the faith of Christ and those whose faith is known to you alone. Father, into your hands we commend them. Give comfort to those who mourn. Bring them peace in their time of loss. And we pray for ourselves and our ministries. As Christ teaches us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. We will now sing our final hymn. 